Yeah. That right there is looking absolutely stunning. Well, we're really starting this new series off, right? Little, little laundry noise to make my blood boil. Real quick before we get started, showing y'all some sexy shad and the five inch. Yeah. Dead on swim bait blend, just straight clear bottom. Gold and chartreuse vein. Then the top is actually black, green with blue highlight. So yeah. A nice take on a classic shad pattern. Can't go wrong with sexy shad. Okay everybody, welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, we have an exciting video today because we are starting a whole new series. We are going to do popular colors reloaded, okay? Sort of like Matrix Reloaded, but hopefully a little bit better than the Matrix Reloaded. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to sort of do a whole series going back to some of the foundings of this channel, some of the more basic techniques, and kind of throw it back to building popular colors. The whole name popular colors comes from you know, the colors that are most probably well known in the world of soft plastics. Um, you know, colors that are really popular with certain brands. You know, you think of your watermelon reds, watermelon red pearl, your, your June bugs, your bullfrogs, um, like today, baby bass, all of the, all of the classics basically. So um, what we're gonna do is sort of redo some of those old videos plus some of the newer popular colors that have emerged in the last you know four years i've been on youtube a long time now and uh, we're gonna kind of do some of those videos again but hopefully a little bit better with a little bit more wisdom a little bit more direction and a little bit better production so that is the goal um, and today is video one of popular colors reloaded and we're going to be doing one of the all-time greats it's a two color laminate baby bass baby bass is one of those colors that is you know very uh I, I i would say it looks good across the entire mold spectrum it'll look good in a worm it'll look good in a swim bait a jerk bait a fluke a frog pretty much everything you can think of this color works um and those are really some of the greatest colors because you can just line up every mold you have run it and everything's going to be great um so that's what we're going to do we're going to start with that today um, we're obviously going to show you the color build and then we're going to line up various molds so that you can see the color in, uh, in various shapes and sizes. And um, I'm excited to do this. I've been pondering it for a little while and we're going to cut this before the laundry turns back on. All right, so the first step and the key to making a good bait is to use good materials, dead on plastics. And uh, we're just going to use a medium durometer, the swim bait jerk bait blend for today's demonstration because it's a one size fits all plastic. So we're gonna get that nice and mixed. Always gotta mix up your materials. Yeah, looking good here. Just gonna give that a quick mix up and uh, we're gonna measure out and then we're gonna start on the color build and uh, that's where the real magic happens. All right, so here are the materials that you will need to do uh, today's baby bass color build. Now obviously all of these things can be somewhat interchangeable, but the overall color profile remains the same. So on one side of the equation, you need a watermelon or green pumpkin of your choice. I'm using LureWorks Watermelon 101. I just love it and I think it makes a great baby bass. Um, with the watermelon side, we're going to be using small flake, small green flake. We're going to be using some medium sized gold flake and some medium sized black flake, okay? And I've kept some black pigment out on the table in case I just want to darken up the watermelon side just a smidge. And then on the other side of the equation, we have standard white pearl. This is just regular white mica powder, no color shift, no fancy this, no fancy that, straight white mica powder, super cheap. And those are the materials that you're going to need. All right, four cups of plastic going in there. Ugh, this might take a while. We're going to punch in eight minutes. Well, we thought we were going to punch in eight minutes. All right, let's give this a shot. We're going to go, uh, we're going to start with the watermelon side first. 
see where that gets us. Just gonna kinda add it to taste. And you have to remember, it's gonna lighten up a lot, okay? So it kinda looks like a dark green on this side, but once we laminate it with the white pearl from this side, right, and those colors start playing on each other, this is gonna look a lot brighter. So I would recommend you start with a watermelon that looks kind of dark like this, not, not a lighter shade of watermelon, if that makes sense. All right, so a little bit more there. This is looking really good though. I like where it's going. All right, now let's work on our flakes. Let's go ahead and add <clears throat> the black medium size, okay? All right, so we'll start there. See where that gets us. You always want to start by using less flake than you think you need because you can always add more, but you really can't take it back once it's already in there. That's just a general rule of thumb for flakes, you know. And you could you could make this color without the black flake. I just kind of think that the black flake looks pretty good. So now we're gonna do the gold flake. In fact, I don't even think Zoom's version even has black flake in it. Could be totally wrong though, okay? All right, and that gold will brighten it up. Make it look good. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, and then now for some small green flake. Definitely gotta have that. You for sure have to have the small green and the medium size gold, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with that much and uh, see how that looks. Should look pretty fly. Yeah, that's starting to look like baby bass right there. Yeah, maybe, maybe a smidge more of the green and then we're done. I'm not gonna add anything else to that side and I don't think I'm gonna darken it with any black we'll we'll see though you never know until you know that's the thing about soft baits you don't know how it looks until you know how it looks all right now for the other side just white pearl you could you could get away with using a silver pearl but uh, we're just gonna start with plain Jane white you could always add a drop of black to make it a little bit darker, which I think we're actually gonna do. Now that I think about how I want my baby bass to look, I think we may darken the pearl side just slightly. Yeah. And you can do that with a drop of black. That'll just change, change the hue. It'll, it'll take the edge off of how bright it is just a little bit you'll see that's just slightly different okay all right so let's kind of do the drizzle test get some of this stuff out drizzling together see if we think it makes a good baby bass I actually think that it does as you can see that's about there all right, so we've got a little buffet of molds as promised. This is the new Angling AI Lizard. This is the Crazy Hog, and then this is their Fork Tail Jerkbait. Um, you know, uh, the Zoom Fluke is really popular in baby bass, so this will be that style of bait. We have another mystery mold up there that we're going to also try to do. Um, just depends on how much plastic we have left over after this kind of first round. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Feeling pretty good so far. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. 
y'all just got to see an absolute nightmare. We can still salvage it. All right, we're gonna redo the ones that we did not get. And uh, hopefully we can salvage this. So here we go. Try not to knock things over. This is why those uh, pneumatic, pneumatic vice clamp systems work so well. They uh, pretty, much, pretty much are knockover proof. Solid as a rock, you don't knock the molds over, you can't flash. But, you know, I had just kind of a random hodgepodge of molds on the table, so hand clamps were what we chose and we paid the price. So let that be a lesson. <laughs> Pneumatic vice clamps are amazing. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see how we did. We're going to start with the first mold. This is the AI Lizard. Oh yeah, look at that, sweet. See, see how I said that it will brighten up the top, right? See how much brighter the green looks? That's because it's been laminated with white pearl. Wow, yeah, that looks killer. I love how it kind of blends the color. One leg is green, the other one, you know, this side got a little bit more of the pearl. You can see the laminate there in the runner. Okay, so the lizard looks good. We're gonna set that, eh, set that aside. So far, what I'm seeing, I wouldn't change anything. You know, often you kind of build a color, you look at it, you maybe troubleshoot it a little bit. Sorry, there's like some contamination in here. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. All right, here for the crazy hog. We'll open it on this side. watermelon side well maybe we will amateur hour today y'all okay let's get it open oh beautiful yeah look at that that is baby bass ladies and gentlemen and I think one of the keys to it is not oversaturating the pearl as you can see it's still relatively see-through. The pearl is not overwhelming because it's really easy to oversaturate the pearl and then it's the dominant color. It'll take over a liquid pigment any day of the week. The pearls are usually stronger, especially if you get a little bit of bleed over, it will overtake your, uh, your liquid base color. So those right there are about, I think about as good as we can get them. So now we're gonna show you the next mold and see how those did. All right, now let's take a look at one of the jerk baits. Now, one of these I did uh, during that catastrophe. Um, yeah, probably this one. So, yeah, those top two cavities. Oh man, that color is perfect. But we have a hollow head. I just I wasn't able to fill in the sprue. <laughs> That's why you always want to top off the opening, top off the runner, or else that happens. So my mistake there, yeah, same with that one. But I think the bottom two work. Yeah, look at that. Got a few air pockets in there. But that is baby bass. One of my favorite colors growing up. I used to catch a lot of fish <clears throat> on a Zoom baby bass fluke. And I'm sure you still could. All right, let's check these out. Yeah. Boy, that's nice, isn't it? What a beautiful color. Have not made this one in years. Look at this. Yeah. So again, the key to this is a good watermelon base, okay? And not to oversaturate the pearl. And in fact, we even dialed back the pearl a little bit with a little bit of black just to 
lessen the contrast between the two. And I'm very, very, very happy with my results. That's as good as it gets. All right, so the jerk baits are a success. Now let's look at our mystery mold. Oh yeah, y'all guessed it, the rip wrap. Look at this. Man, is that not hot. I love this one that kind of bled a little bit. It kind of blurred the lines between the laminate. Look at that. This is the 3.8 version. There are two rip wraps now. There's this one, and then there's the, uh, sorry, going out of focus. Then there's the uh, 2.8. Yeah. So everything turned out extravagantly well. I could not be happier. And it's cool to see a buffet of different stuff, right? You know, we have five or six, or uh, four or five different, different molds going in the same color, and there's still more to come. Little glamour shot here. You can see all the different goodies. It's a bunch of baby bass goodness. All right, we're gonna try this again, hopefully without a complete disaster. We had, <coughs> sorry, we have a few new molds on the table, so um, we're gonna see it in a few more shapes. Here we go. Start with the crazy hog here. All right. Now we're going on to one of the new molds. This right here is the lizard. It's definitely one of its more lizards. Okay. Then this one is another mystery mold. All right, that was much, much, much better. All right, let's take a look. These are the crazy hogs right here. So we've already seen those, but let's see, uh, let's see how round two did. Yeah. Pull them out. Right on. Yeah. This takes me back to high school seeing this color. Zoom flukes in a small lake here in town called Car Lake. Yes, sir, rebuddy. Colors like this is where it all started for me. All right, so we have the, oops, crazy, crazy hogs uh, done. We'll set those aside. Here's a big boat. Uh, here, here's a big bait, <clears throat> the Magnum AR worm. <laughs> Got a lot of flake in that one. That's one of those bonus flake baits. Yeah, look at that. Look at how well that mold laminates. Absolutely gargantuan bait. Yeah. There it is. Figured we had to try it in at least some sort of worm configuration, so here it is. A AR worm. The biggins. Such a massive bait. Alright, here's the lizard again. Just cannot say enough good things about the AI lizard. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Look at that. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Baby bass lizard's looking good. And then last but not least, we had to try the mighty Ecto Craw. Because it is mighty. Yeah, let's get this uh, arranged. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. 
Baby bass crawls. All right. Woo! That's a lot of baby bass. All right, well, we successfully turned that into that. So, now the question of the day is always, which one is your favorite? Do you, do you like the rip wrap the most? Do you like the jerk baits the most? The ecto crawls, the lizards? Lizards are looking mighty fine. Crazy hogs or the big bad Magnum AR worm? Let me know in the comments down below which one you think displays the color best and, uh, and which one just overall looks best. I'm curious what your thoughts are. I'd say for me, it's a toss up between probably the Rip Rap and the Lizard for just which one has the most wow factor. Um, but I'm curious what y'all's thoughts are. People see color differently. So yeah, I'd say that was a success. All right, everybody. Mm. A little post video beer. So um, yeah, you know, <clears throat> I think, um, you know, revisiting the whole popular colors idea will um, not only be a fun refresher course for me, uh, doing some of those old colors uh, again, but um, also anyone who's new to the channel or new to the hobby, you know, they may not have seen some of that old content, you know, three years ago. So, um, you know, <clears throat> it'll be, um, you know, hopefully sort of an educational playlist. You know, it'll be a separate playlist on the channel, Popular Colors Reload. Um, and so you'll be able to find all these videos in one place and um, really build a foundation for solid color building. Um, you'll, you'll get to see a lot of your favorite recipes um, laid out for you. And uh, I think that can only be a good thing. So let me know in the comments down below which popular color you would like to see reloaded next. And uh, we will go from there. So I'm going to enjoy a nice afternoon. I got a couple hours of quiet time uh, to, by myself here at the house. So I'm just going to chill out. So we'll see you all in the next video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If not, you're a dork and you don't want to be a dork.